Tropical Storm Danielle formed earlier today in the Northern Atlantic Ocean, currently located at 38.1 degrees north, 44.8 degrees west, and is already intensifying as it stalls where it currently is right now. Uh, the storm is currently encompassing or has winds of 50 miles per hour, that's 80 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of, a rather high pressure that is, of around 1,005 millibars. The storm right now is pushing east at 2 miles per hour, so not really moving much at all. So looking at the storm's wind field right now, you can see that it is mainly on the eastern side, 30 nautical miles out on only the eastern side, though if I had to guess, it's probably around the entire circulation by now, given that it does look pretty nice in imagery. Right now, the storm is located 734 miles away from Flores, 761 from St. John's and Newfoundland, 864 from Horta, 1043 from Punta Delgada, and 919 from Lisbon, all the way in Portugal over in Europe. Uh, these land masses are likely to gradually go down from some of these locations as the storm is going to move off towards the northeast, intensify into hurricane strength as forecasted by the National Hurricane Center, the first one of the season, believe it or not. And we'll have to wait and see what impacts the storm bring up there, probably as a post-tropical cyclone. So right now, looking at the satellite estimates of the storm right now, uh, ADT and SATCON are both supportive of at least 40 miles per hour getting up there. Though interestingly, a ship reported uh, 50 mile per hour sustained winds, but those uh, those observations of ADT and SATCON were a few hours out of date, so 50 miles per hour is a good call. Looking at the National Hurricane Center's forecast code, not forecast to move much in the next three days before shooting gradually off towards the northeast, in the middle of nowhere really in the North Atlantic, uh, but it is forecast to peak at around, I think, 90 miles per hour, the last I remember, uh, maybe even down towards 85, uh, but certainly uh, well on its way to becoming a hurricane, it might be one sooner than forecast. We'll have to wait and see on that. We'll have a look at the inventory towards the end of this update. Uh, though no land areas are at the immediate risk of Danielle, looking at the sea surface temperatures right now, they are decent for a storm. Uh, 28 or 9 degrees Celsius, if I recall, maybe even a little bit lower than that. So they are a little bit favorable, just as long as Danielle stays within these waters. I, I imagine that it'll gain some intensity, which it's going to do over the next three days. Looking at the HWRF model run, you can see that it's um, forecasting a gradual northward turn, a peak of uh, 105 miles per hour, and the rainfall threat is going to be li very limited to the track circulation, not, in not impacting any land areas in terms of that nature. So looking at the RAM diagnostic plot, most models are in agreement of a mid to, ra mid to high end range category 1 hurricane. Uh, maybe even a little, a little low on the category 2 end side of things, we'll have to wait and see on that. Wind shear is forecast to be low, and then it takes a gradual high turn in the day's 3 to 5 period. But sea surface temperatures are decreasing, relative humidity isn't forecast to be overall great. So we'll probably see a low end category, low end category 2 to a high end category 1 per peak out of this hurricane if I had to absolute guess. Looking on the satellite imagery right now, you can see that, that yes, that is a potential eye, not a confirmed one yet, but this is a uh, pseudo eye, I guess we can call it, or an eye of sorts. Uh, very slow movement right now, uh, very surprising to see that this is, uh, it has taken this long for us to get our next name tropical storm, but it is certainly a uh, interesting thing to watch in the North Atlantic and not going to impact mainland areas as it moves gradually off towards the east and then makes a northward turn over the next few days.